guys hi guys welcome welcome back to perfectly imperfect gardening here with me tanya and i just want to show you guys a little update on my plants that i put in to restart show you guys how they're looking now where they at now because they look they be looking like they struggling for a minute and then they come back stronger than ever because it concentrates on its root area. Oh, this one needs some water. I lost one. But all of the rest came out. There's like two got noticed one. So I lost one in there. I lost some of these, but the ones that is still growing got its second set of leaves. I had to pick them up real early because they was growing inside of mulch. So if I didn't get them when I got them, they was going to die anyway. But they starting to get more leaves need some water this lavender smells so good it smells so good everything in here is looking good sage this look like lemon bone. Yep. And this right here was the tomato I put in the middle. It, I think it was aroma. Yeah, aroma tomato. And it's getting tomatoes already, guys. And this was that Cuban um, Cuban oregano that I had missed and said it was Mexican oregano. And it's coming back, it's getting its color back. And it's stuck. Remember I just set it on there? Now I can't pull it up. And I put, I just stuck a little one over here in the ground. Where is it? Right here. See guys, it rooted too. It's rooted down in there also. This one getting a little shaded, but they're growing still. Rosemary. My husband mistakenly broke my um basil, my red basil, purple basil with the water hose. But I still had the green ones here. Everything's looking great. And this was the little bling tomatoes right here. And they are getting tomatoes. Then right here we had the flathead parsley. And right here we have the curly head parsley. This cilantro look like it's starting to flower and getting coriander. This is cilantro, cilantro and cilantro. These was the other starts I put in right here. I put in these yellow pots. This turned over on me and these fell down, that one broke. And that one I saved, but I still have to fix them in. So I flipped this, flipped it the other way and took this heavy stuff off. It was too heavy 
for these and it came out of the joint. This right here is that running rosemary. And these is the other plants I started from the cuttings. See, they, they're in there. Did those with all the yellow pots. Everything is coming out good so far, guys. Oh, the strawberries. They look like they dying, but they sticking in and they're going to come back. Hopefully. <laughs> we go see. Ooh, that mint smells so good. Mm -hmm. Spearmint and um, peppermint. Hmm. This arch right here is with the bleeding heart vine and also the passion fruit vine. Bleeding heart vine supposed to actually be way over there. It found its way way over here and it's taking over this passion fruit vine. Blue Plablango. It's gonna make its way all the way over to this arch. Look at that. This is my Mendevilia um, vine. They're gonna be red. It's all coming back. This side here is pink. And this side over here is red. Both sides. <clears throat> Let's see what else I have growing vegetable-wise. This right here is a dwarf um, pomegranate. And this is a full grown pomegranate that I have in this pot right here. It had flowered and was starting to get pomegranates. Then the wind knocked them off. That's okay. This one be flowering too. And I got pomegranates actually off of this one before. This one got a flower now. And these are tomatoes I have put in here from seed. And they came up right here. I'm supposed to put the rest of the Roma tomatoes that I had over there. I put them in this bed and forgot them. And they still sitting here. They probably ain't no good no more. They gone. Forgot all about them. Dang it. Oh, okay. This one. This one is on the fence. But it's full of tomatoes, guys. This one right here. What packs of tomatoes I had, guys? I think this is the big red. I had the big red. And the... I had Cherokee purple somewhere. I had the giant white from Baker's Creek. I think that one is over on the other side. And I had no signs. <laughs> Those the only two that got tomatoes over here. Now over here is my collard greens. I have to pick these because they are ridiculously big. See something? Collard greens, cabbages over here. I have some um, potatoes that keep coming up, trying to come up and take over this area. And I be taking them out and they come right back up. And they've been trying to smother out these. But they're getting heads, guys. They're getting heads up in there. This one getting a head. Yep, it's starting to 
curve in. Curving in. Yep, it's hard, something hard up in there. Starting to get their heads. The ones where the where the potatoes keep coming up at barely growing. <laughs> I'm letting this stay because I know I know the um, beneficial insects love it. It's lattice. I had put seeds in here. Not that. That's that strawberry. Um, I think it was I put broccoli stuff. So this is some sort of broccoli, I think. I think like the art broccoli. If I'm not mistaken. And this right here, I forgot they was here and they turned yellow. Cause I didn't close them up. Well, they kind of turn pink. They're still edible, but I have three of those. And over here, I have some more greens. I threw some more seeds over in here, and they coming up. I think I put some more um, broccoli over in here. Like succession planted it a little later. Just threw some seeds over in here. And they came up. My trumpet going out. Well, they came back like this deep color, deep pink this time. This right here is a, mo a grape. Oh, it's time for all that to start coming back. Let me see if my peach tree came back. Hold on, guys. I just pretty much just threw seeds around. This right here, when I put this front end over here, I had two um eggplants i put one here over there i had one over here i changed my mind because, because the sun wasn't getting it so i put it over here and it's doing so much better here going really good and i have a lot of other different peppers that's growing in here bunny green Jalapenos, bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, inside of here. Look how beautiful the Boogan Villas are right now while the sun is going down. And right here, I have some mangoes coming. Hopefully they took all around the tree. But look at her. Look how beautiful she bloomed. Guys. Look like she's on fire when the sun out. Looks like she's on fire. This should be named the fire bush, but it's my bougainvillea. So beautiful. And the peach tree over here is coming back. This side of the bougainvillea is coming too. And this one is going out. <laughs> <laughs> boy, 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 I didn't pick the, the right matches for this one. Hopefully it come back. Come back soon. <laughs> I missed that one up, didn't I, guys?
Imagine if it was in season still. All that be nice and pink with this and that over there. Look, they're so gorgeous. But the peach tree is coming in. It's getting all of its flowers. I'm so happy about that. And a whole lot more of its leaves trying to come back in. Soon it'll be so full of leaves and peaches. Love that. Gotta just want to show you guys a little update on the little vegetables and things that I am growing in the garden so far. It'll be a whole lot more. I just been trying to get the work part of the garden done before it get too hot. Then we're about growing vegetables and things like that later. Thank you all for staying to the end of this video. Like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that bell button so that you can be notified every time I put out a video. I love you guys so much and appreciate you guys so much. Until next time.